Hey everybody, I'm Sarah MacArthur and you're watching Go on Shaw TV. This week we're at Mountain Stream Orchard and I'm literally standing in around a ton of apple trees. We're going to be making some apple cider and some apple cider vinegar. But first, I'm going to eat an apple. Welcome to Go Thunder Bay. We are here in Slate River and I'm standing in an apple orchard. I'm here with Elaine McKenzie, the owner operator of Mountain Stream Orchard. Now, Elaine, I had no idea you were even here. I can't believe there's an apple orchard in Thunder Bay. There's so many people that say that, like you can grow apples in Thunder Bay. Well, yeah, you can. And they're beautiful. They just, you can get huge apples, which I'll show you later, um, down to this small care crab. I have about 10 different varieties here. Uh, Norland, Goodland, September Ruby, Fall Red, ones you've never heard before, but when you come out to the orchard and pick them and taste them, you go, oh my goodness. The reason they're so tasty too is because there's no chemicals on my apples. Uh, the way I treat them in the springtime is with dormant oil and sulfur to stop the bugs, and then in the fall I clean up all my leaves to clean up any funguses, and that's about it. And you prune it and feed your trees and, and, uh, and tender loving care. <laughs> So how many trees do you have right now? I have about 100. I used to have 125, but due to rabbits and mice and deer and bear, I'm um, down to 100, which is good because I've learned to get over the trauma of losing a tree knowing that, oh, one last tree to prune. <laughs> so I'm good with that. But I planted two pear trees last year because I thought oh, I might as well throw some pear trees Why in. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Let's, try, yeah. Let's try pears, see exactly. what that happens. Exactly. Now, how long have you been running this orchard and how, like, how long have these apple trees been here? Um, this north orchard was planted in 1992 and this orchard was planted in 2001. Those trees were just little whips, just single whips that were planted. So it's amazing. Uh, when I took it over, the trees were a lot smaller and now it's like a little overwhelming. Um, <laughs> but fortunately, this year I've run into two arborists, one from Australia, and they've shown me how to prune the trees. And so I'm going to be cutting the tops off the trees so I don't have to Ooh. climb up ladders and, and then all the fruit on top will be great and big. So I'm looking forward to that. So that's a big job in the spring. Now we're here in the fall, so a lot of the harvesting has happened already. And you asked the community can come out and they can harvest their own apples, which is a great experience. Yeah. I have a Facebook page, Mountain Stream Orchard, and I'm up to 200 likes, which shocks me all the heck. And I post on there when I'm having apple picking and then they can respond and, and then I know how many people are coming out. But mostly it's kids and I've had um, the Little Otter Scout Troop out here to pick apples and I've had a lot of homeschooling groups at which I'm having on Thursday. But it's winding down. Uh, I think after Thursday I'll probably be done. Okay, now we're standing here in, the, in part of your orchard now. You get a lot of apples and you can do many things with apples and coming up later on in the show we're gonna show you what Elaine does with all these apples. So keep watching, go. <laughs> 